how beautiful and peaceful it is here. I was actually tempted to stay here and camp with my car, but I packed my backpack already. Wow, I haven't had this backpack on for a few months. This is my first backpacking trip, officially <laughs> opening the winter season. The weather is not that bad. I actually thought it's gonna be worse. And I have much less stuff than usually I would take hiking. Let's go. Bye, baby. Where do I start? This is a bit awkward. The last video I posted on this channel was like more than half a year ago. So I don't really know what to say now, but let's start from introduction. Let's see if I still remember it. Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you are here again, but if you are watching my video for the first time, I'm an off-road and adventure enthusiast and the sole creator of www.missionsoffroad.com website. Once you subscribe to my channel, you're going to learn more about unique places in the UAE, Oman and Saudi Arabia, camping and hiking tips and some topics related to off-road vehicles. So make sure to press the subscribe button and the bell notification button if you want to be the first one to see whenever I upload a new video in the future. Wow, I made it. I still remember my introduction. That's a good sign. <laughs> I've been away for a very long time. And especially last few months were quite a difficult period of my life. To be honest, I didn't feel like making videos at all or being on social media. Meanwhile, if you follow me on Instagram, I went to Saudi Arabia for almost two weeks and I drove around 50 hours in total around Saudi. So I tried to make few attempts during my trips to come back to YouTube, but it was quite difficult. But today I finally made the decision because Prior to before I disappeared, I actually loved making videos and I loved editing and I loved uh, documenting my travels and my trips and inspiring other people. So I want to feel that again. That's why I want to get my old me back, if that makes sense at all. And meanwhile, my YouTube channel was off all the videos were hidden. Uh, thanks God, I didn't delete them because it was so close to do that. I was receiving a lot of messages from you guys asking why I have hidden the videos and why the YouTube channel is not visible anymore. So I thought, you know what, if my videos would help anyone or inspire anyone in any way, then why not? I cannot promise that I'm committing back to posting uh, as often as I used to before because one my work now is crazy busy so I have very limited time off and two um, getting a property now as well so that's taking a lot of my time and after I move in I'll be starting to furnish it as well so probably that will occupy all of my free time but I'll do my best to check in here from time to time and take you for some of my trips, like today. I didn't walk too far. I can still see my car. You cannot, but it's far behind. I maybe walked one and a half kilometers, but I'm currently looking for a perfect camping spot since it's time for me to settle down somewhere before it's gonna be completely dark.
great. My tent is ready. And I will go now find some wood because I want to bake potatoes. By the way, look at the view down there. Beautiful. Let me show you around my household. <laughs> this is bedroom. This is a fireplace in the living room. And the living room is connected with kitchen. That's my chair. And this is my table. <laughs> I think I pretty much showed it already in one of the videos. Uh, how I make fire on the ground. So basically that's aluminum foil. If I don't have my barbecue with me, which obviously now I don't carry it. I just put aluminum foil um, between the stones. And then after I finish, I roll it and take it with me and throw it away. Oh, I love the smell of burnt grass. It reminds me of childhood. When I was a kid, we used to work in the farm in summer and then by the end we used to burn grass after we would collect vegetables and other crop and then this smell was filling up the whole village in the evenings it is kind of um, nostalgic in a way first thing first I actually need to put my potatoes in the foil because they will take the most time and then I have something that I will down this is dough for bread it actually uh, exploded because it's based on yeast so obviously it doubled the volume and I will also make bread on the fire which I was craving for such a long time, I think probably whole summer. So here we go, jacket potatoes from the fire, salad that I just made now, bread from the fire as well, and hummus that I made at home. Bon appetit! It is only 9 p.m. and I am already super tired, so I'll probably head to sleep. I unfortunately didn't take my latte because usually when I camp um, while backpacking, I suffer interrupted sleep so to speak so i usually would wake up like 1 a.m 2 a.m and then struggle to fall asleep again until morning and the sunrise is i believe around 6 a.m so i have a lot of time like if i go to sleep even in well maximum one hour from now it will be still eight hours of sleep in the tent so let's see how it goes if nothing happens throughout the night i'll probably talk to you tomorrow morning so good night <laughs> everyone this beautiful morning I'm so happy to be here I think I'm lucky today because the clouds are coming closer and closer even from this side wow look it's so beautiful the temperature I was surprised it was cold it was, I guess, around maybe 20 degrees. But now the situation is different, so I'm gonna try to hurry up because my tent is still here and get myself going back to the car. I don't know if you can see, there is a tower somewhere here. So near this tower, there is my car. 
which is not that far. That's the moment of truth. It's not that bad. Obviously, yesterday with all food and water, it was so much heavier. And all the clouds are gone already. I need to run back to the car. It is almost 8 a.m. already. I was actually planning to leave earlier, obviously, but when the clouds were coming close to the place where I was staying at, I just wanted to be there and enjoy the moment. Unfortunately, I know it's very treacherous because when the sun is up, it's only a matter of maybe half an hour that it's gonna become really hot. Stay here. <laughs> now I'm gonna have breakfast that I was supposed to have back there in the mountains, which is homemade granola. So I guess this is the time where you actually say goodbye. It was a nice trip. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Subscribe, press the like button and so on. If you are also looking for adventures like that, you can visit my website, which is www.missionsofroad.com and you're gonna find there a lot of locations around the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Oman. Tips for hiking, camping, off-roading and so on. Once again, thank you so much and I'll see you soon, hopefully in another video. Ma salama!